The name of the book is The New Portuguese Table, Exciting Flavors from Europe's Western Coast. And the reason why I decided to write the book is it goes all the way back to when I was 32 years old, all those many years ago when I was 32 years old. And my grandmother had passed away, and I realized that a lot of the dishes I grew up with had sort of gone with her. And I was not particularly interested in Portuguese cuisine at that point. And I realized part of my heritage was being lost. So what I did was I videotaped my mother and also my aunts making their dishes, so therefore those would be preserved. And in the course of that, I started falling in love with the cuisine, which all of my life I wasn't very interested in. The reason why I decided to do a book on contemporary Portuguese cuisine, with a lot of classics in it also, is that there are a lot of books out there that do all the classics. And I felt that when I was going to Portugal, I was seeing things uh, done differently. I was seeing people eating different kinds of food. I saw people uh, cooking different types of food and in different ways. Uh, there were spices that were being brought in from a lot of the Portuguese colonies and from other countries and utilizing them in such a way that it wasn't obfuscating the Portuguese cuisine but enhancing it. And I was intrigued by this and so I started following chefs around and home cooks. Uh, I started uh, nosing my way into kitchens at home and into restaurants, taking lots of notes, and I came up with this book that I think is a great collection that really balances out basically three areas for me. Uh, family favorites, which are fa uh, favorites for my family and um, my mom and my dad and my grandparents. Also contemporary recipes that are being eaten right now and perhaps didn't even exist three or four years ago uh, in Portugal. And then also classics that have been lightened in a bit in the sense that there's a lighter hand taken to them. Not so much that they are uh, made diet in any way because Portugal is a full fat, full flavor country and um, I didn't want to change that. And last are the contemporary recipes, which are what people are eating now. And I felt that it really shows um, what's going on in Portugal now. It's a great snapshot. I'm sure in 35, 40, 50 years from now, a different book could be written. But um, this is what's going on right now and I'm quite proud of it.